Hi guys! It is actually Saturday morning right now and I'm just going through like the footage and the pictures and everything of my trip and I wanted to explain a little bit before we get into the video. Um, so Monday I met up with the family that I nanny for. Um, the mom went, the dad went, all four of their boys, me and my daughter. Uh, we all packed up their what's it called pop-up camper and all rode together all the way up north past Duluth Minnesota to a little town called Two Harbors it's gorgeous there we stayed at Burlington Bay campgrounds I suggest it to anyone it has playground it's got um, bathrooms with showers and it's right on Lake Superior it's gorgeous and like really close to um some really nice hiking trails so we went up Monday it's like a five ish hour five and a half hour drive from where we are um so yes we had a four-year-old a five-year-old six-year-old eight-year-old two-year-old <sighs> me and two other adults <laughs> It was a little chaotic, but uh, definitely memorable. We hiked over five miles every day. I am just, we got back Friday night, today's Saturday. I'm still just shot, wore out. Um, but it was really cool. So I'll start the video. Bye. Hi, Callie. Are you having fun? Look at how pretty this is up here. It's a little overcast today and crazy, but it's still awesome. I can hear Callie, mom, 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 mom. I was trying to get a pregnancy shot of me in the bathrooms at the campsite. Okay, hi guys. I am 32 weeks pregnant and I am camping up in Duluth, Minnesota. And the first night we got here, it was like 80 degrees overnight, and the high today has been about 59. Really, really cold. And I only brought warm clothes for like two days, so hopefully the rest of the time is not so cold and we can do a lot more hiking and stuff. I think we're gonna go exploring on a little trail down here. We're staying at a really, a nice little campground right on Lake Superior and it actually has bathrooms and showers. Oh, yeah, watch out, see you guys later. We're gonna take all the little kiddos, all the crazies. Bye. So this was our day two. We were exploring our little campgrounds. This is just from the campground site. We were super, super close to Lake Superior. Superior. Um, some pictures of us walking around. And we let the kids just run around and around and around and around there. Tried to wear them out. It's so pretty. I do want to live right back there. Keep going, babe. Not that way. Keep, keep this way. And I just thought this was super pretty on our walk. So pretty, and then it's so freaking freezing on the trail. There's more of us back there. Yeah, it's crazy, but I love it. Oh my word, this is good for my big old pregnant butt to be hiking along these trails.
You want me to try? Do I have a Feel it? No. No, honey, that is a yucky, yucky pond. All green and gross. Nope, put it down. Yuck. I think this was Wednesday morning. We got all ready. Um, me and the camper. Uh, we got ready to go to Anger Tower. Um, and they had like Japanese gardens at Anger Park. Callie little, little ham posing for the pictures. Um, we walked around the garden and through the trails. And then we hiked up to the top of the tower, which, whew, not easy while pregnant <laughs> yet again. But so pretty when you get up there, you just have a gorgeous view of Duluth and it's so, so worth it. <laughs> she loves posing for the pictures, but yeah, it is so pretty up there. Um, we were in one of the little cutout nook areas way at the tippy top of the tower. And I think you might be able to see the lift bridge in some of these pictures. Um, there is a place to go up and look. She's looking the other way with the camera. And my prager butt, super tired after walking around at Anger Park. And we drove downhill. Some of these are so steep. But there was really cool, like, castle-like <laughs> buildings and really old It just looks so cool! Um, as you drive down. Oh, it's not even in a car. How would you crash our car? It's in a parking lot way over there. No, they wouldn't ever let it. Alright, I'm gonna get down off this area and we can watch the bridge up and down. The big alarm, the ship blasted its horn. It's not gonna get it. Is it gonna squish us? Ah! 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 gonna get you? Ah! It's not gonna squish us. Oop! Boop! Here. And it didn't squish us. I forgot. We also brought a big old fluffy eight month old puppy with us. <laughs> and this was Gooseberry Falls on Thursday. We went to the Upper Falls first and looked around. We let the kids play in some of the little poolish areas up there. And then we went on the hike down to the shoreline. <laughs> It was a long hike with all of those kids, but we had a really good time. It was really, really hot and sticky actually close. that day um, until we got down to a little bit of the, falls over there. the Lake Superior Shore. And then when it was time to turn around and go back, it started raining and then it cooled off. So we got a little bit I wet. on the oh Gooseberry Falls Trail Whew, to the shore. Pregnant and huge. And it's hot, and it's humid, but it's pretty. And hot and humid. Not fun. This was the view along the trail to the shore. It was kind of steep up there, but you got to overlook tons of the valley down below. Why we hiked forever. Lake Superior Shore. I love it here. Oh, Ingrid, did you get tangled up? Ah! Tiffany, get her away from me. Callie, you having fun? After we were done at the shore, we headed back and we got to go through a really oh, cool yes. tunnel. We went back and we got some Betty's Pies, the world famous Betty's Pies. So 
So I have to say like the trip was nuts. Absolutely nuts. You probably hear in the background all the time as we're traveling with so many kids, you're like, no, don't touch that. Nope, don't jump in there. So if you hear weird background things, there's a lot of chaos when you go on a trip like that with so many kids and like near waterfalls and all kinds of stuff. But overall, it was a pretty cool trip. Um, Friday was just like packing up, driving the five, five and a half hours back home um, and unloading and everything. But I have to say all of that walking around like was fantastic for my gestational diabetes. Like I could eat whatever I wanted and my blood sugars were absolutely perfect. Um, I felt really, really good and really not poofy and not retaining water while we were walking around and doing all that stuff. For the most part, the one hot day I was a little swelly. But after riding in the car for that long on the way home, my legs just got enormous. Um, but yeah, we had a really a memorable trip, I have to say. Still recuperating from it, but yeah. And I must say, I've been up there a bunch of times. But it's so much harder walking those trails, like, with a big old bump. And I'm, like, waddly at this point. <laughs> but, yeah, it was really good exercise. And my daughter absolutely loved it. I think she said her favorite part was Gooseberry Falls. Um, yeah, and I dabbled my toes in the water and got splashed by Ingrid when she got out. That water's so cold! <laughs> Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of, of a glimpse of our vacation. Kind of a vacation. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye!